Alright, the new open shot video editor version 1.4.1 has just been released today and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay. Now, the one thing I really love about OpenShot is the fact that its rendering presets are magnificent. It is the only Linux video editor that lets you take your projects from Caden Live and Kino and render them using their presets. Now, there are a lot of really new features that OpenShot brings to the table. And that is new 3D animation wireframe text. You get new titles with, namely the gold title, new effects for fish, the new fisheye effect, new animation presets, support for Blender 2.6 to get some really killer 3D animations. It has localization fixes, user interface bugs have been fixed. There is an improved help manual, an improved title user interface, improved precision, and tons of other bug fixes. I'm going to have a link in the show notes so that you can get to this documentation. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel, or for those of you who are new to my channel and want to know how to tap into the power of OpenShot, please visit my, my uh, channel. And if you scroll down, you will see that I have a playlist with tutorials on OpenShot and there you can tap into the full power of this wonderful program. Okay, and in this example, you will see how I had a chance to play with the 3D modeling feature of Wireframe. Now, when you right click on a video clip and go into properties, you can go into the effects tab. And by pressing the plus button, you will see that they have now adjusted this to where, there, where the effects are, have its own little panel. Then selecting, you can go through the list of effects. One thing I would really like to have seen is maybe a smaller list so that I don't have to scroll through the effects. But all in all, the effects are amazing. OpenShot is really great for the video novice. Need to make a nice title? It is a breeze. Simply go into title and create a new title. And as you can see, the new gold is selected for you and you have two choices. Just select create new title, give it a name, and then give it some text. And then apply. And now you have a nice new title that you can add to your timeline. Need more advanced features? If you have Inkscape installed, you can even take it further by going into Title, New Title. Let's select Gold 1 again. OK, and then create a new title. We'll name this new title 2. And then OK. And then Whoops. And then use the advanced editor. Inkscape will then open and allow you to customize this even further. And now with Inkscape open, we can change its color. We can change its shape. 
or we can do anything with our new title to suit our needs. File and then save. We can close the program now and then our title is ready to be used. Using a 10 point scale where 1 means poor and 10 means superior, I am going to give the new open shot a wonderful 9.5. I love the improvements that uh, open shot has made. I would like to see some more improvements. For instance, I would love it to be able to remember to keep uh, my thumbnail views. I always liked that and that sort of thing. And I would also like to see the effects laid out a little bit easier rather than having to scroll. It would be nice to change and have a short little listing. But all in all, this is a magnificent program. Hurry up and get into your download center and get this one today. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Also, catch me on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. I will keep you up to date every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.